Hi, everybody. It's Karen. Hi, everybody. It's Karen and Charlie. <laughs> okay. What I thought we'd talk about today is some of the good things that happened. Or as I, let's put it this way, I should say every cloud has a silver lining. In April, after Easter, my son and his family were coming down to Florida and we were going to go to Disney World for overnight. And the morning that we were leaving, Charlie got, well, Charlie got sicker than he was and decided that he wasn't going to go with us. Now, I had suggested that he come with us and stay in bed all day. And he decided that, no, he would stay home. Now, this happened while Karen was down with the kids and doing all Disney World. I didn't go because I was feeling really lousy. I decided to take care of the dogs. In the meantime, because of this really uh, chest cold, I cut way, way down on my cigarette. Even though I'd been doing about, about 10 a day, I was down to three a day, two a day. Finally said the hell with it. But at any rate, Karen came, came home. Uh, I, I guess she really didn't notice anything, so I, I told her. I quit smoking because uh, my chest was bothering me. I never thought that was going to happen in my lifetime. Believe me, I had given up completely on the idea of him not smoking. Uh, yeah, at any rate, I just quit cold turkey. Yeah. Who knew? Uh, it hasn't been easy. It's been a little over six months now. And probably five or six times today, I felt like going to have a cigarette. <laughs> but that has been part of my life for over 50 years. You know, wait till I start to feel better. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Hmm. All right. Now, he had smoked for almost, well, good 55, 56. Hmm. Because you, you turned seven. At any rate, I'm saving a lot of money every month, too. So. <laughs> yeah, so uh, now we can go out to eat more because we save so much money. But that, that was a good thing. As I say, I never in a million years, if somebody said, uh, I'll bet you a million dollars that he's going to stop smoking. I, what can I wouldn't, I wouldn't take that bet because I know he would, I knew he wasn't going to. Anyway, that being said, so now oh. we dropped you. <laughs> Didn't hurt myself. Um, you can see why we don't make videos anymore. It's a, it's a brushless and not a fun one. Anyway, he's getting healthy because he's not smoking, and all of a sudden, now here comes TMI, but he had bleeding hemorrhoids, and I don't mean a little bit of blood here and there. I mean hemorrhaging to the point where we had to go to the ER twice within a period of, uh, I think it was three months. He's always had problem with bleeding hemorrhoids, but mm, you know, never, never like this, never to the point of where I couldn't get it to stop in a matter of an hour or so. We waited a while and I couldn't, no matter what I did, it wasn't stopping. So we had him at the ER twice. That was in, like, um, April, 
And then we went back in July, I think it was, or the end of June, with him hemorrhaging again. And we decided that was just, you know, too often to be in the ER. So we got a, a surgeon who specializes in uh, rectal surgery and hemorrhoids and all that fun stuff. Anyway, uh, he set Charlie up for a colonoscopy, which he, he had never had before. He had had a sigmoidoscopy, but he had never had a colonoscopy. Anyway, that all had to be done before the surgeon would work at banding his hemorrhoids. So he spent another probably six weeks between waiting for the colonoscopy and the results of the colonoscopy before he could see the surgeon for the banding, which my husband being the pleasant man that he is, was getting him really aggravated because all he wanted to do was get fixed and, you know, a month and a half later, the, the problem hasn't even been addressed. We got bogged down with the details beforehand. But anyway, to make a long story short, his colonoscopy, after never having one, he only had one polyp, it was removed, and then he was scheduled to have the banding of his hemorrhoids. In the meantime, we, I, another miracle, another miracle. He started eating or drinking smoothies. I'm writing down what I'm saying so he'll know where we are. Now, the smoothies I make have Greek yogurt in them, two-thirds of a cup of Greek yogurt, two-thirds of a cup of vanilla almond milk, uh, two-thirds of a cup of blueberries, a whole banana, two tablespoons of ground flax seed, and a handful of kale. Now, Charlie doesn't eat fruit, nor does he eat kale. And for the first a uh, few weeks, he didn't even know the kale was in there because I would make them in secret <laughs> and bring them to him. I didn't think he was going to like them. Oh, it has honey in them too, excuse me. I didn't think he was going to like it, but he loves them and they're working great for him. He's getting fiber that he never had before, which caused all of his problems. And um, so they were working good. And then after he had the banding of the hemorrhoids, the doctor wanted him to take stool softener. So I went online and decided that better than stool softener. Oh, in the meantime, pardon me, let me just go back for a minute. He had been drinking uh, green tea with ginger in it. And um, honey, I put honey in that too. But he drank that just to increase his water. And also, I figured it wasn't going to hurt him. It can only be good, right? So we switched from that to uh, eight ounces of hot water, two tablespoons of natural unfiltered uh, apple cider vinegar, and two tablespoons spoons of natural honey and he has that instead of the ginger tea in the morning and it works no problem and it's been hmm, well it's been since like august september he's been doing that so you know like uh, the end of august first part of september so it's been a long time it's working good for him so now he gets banana and he gets blueberries, and he gets the fiber of kale and the fiber of the ground flax seed, and the probiotics in the Greek yogurt. Plus, he takes a probiotic pill, too, just because. So that's where we've been health-wise, and we're doing good, or he's doing good. 
I ain't. He's doing all the things that I used to do that I cut out and have to start at, adding back in. I drink the ginger green tea and I put some honey in it and I eat a banana every day. But I'll eat salads and things, so I don't worry about having a smoothie per se. Uh, so I'm going to work at eating a little more fruit. And it's autumn. It's candy apple season. And I get uh, caramel apples with peanuts and nuts. Great fiber, folks. It's a, I know it's healthy for me because it's great fiber. Is there something you'd like to talk you about? You tell them what's in a smoothie. I did. I told them. She told you what's in a smoothie. Okay. Yeah, kitty. Yeah. Greek yogurt. I don't like it. Almond milk. I don't like. Kale. I don't like. Uh-huh. Bananas. I hate. Blueberries are good. Honey is good. Okay. Mix it all up. Tastes great. Yeah, he actually asked for it. And in fact, a couple of days when I didn't feel like making it, he made it. And he even put the kale in it, too. I, you know, I told him put a handful in and, you know, we're all good. And it's working for you. <coughs> Is there anything else you'd like to talk about? The other stuff that I've been eating... Yeah, I'm not even sure how much fiber is in a smoothie, but there's a lot. There is. I figured uh, it out. I figured it out. It's a lot. Considering he doesn't eat fiber, he eats mostly protein and junk yeah, food. Hey, uh, eat whole grain muffins, whole wheat yeah, hot dog rolls, and whole wheat hamburger rolls. Now he does. Uh, I tried lot, the pasta. A lot of baked beans. Yeah, he eats. good. <laughs> he eats a lot of baked beans. Uh, and need I say more? Anything else you want to talk about? Uh, that's about all, all I eat anymore. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, that we go out to eat a lot. We go, we go out to. I, I really enjoy going out to eat. <laughs> we, yeah, you do. You do. Because <laughs> you get you get normal food when we go out to eat, but. That's about what we've been up to, and I, I don't want to make this too long. And uh, we'll be checking in from time to time here. If you want to hear us talk about anything, let us know. So we will see you. Peace, love, hugs, and God bless. Bye. Bye.